hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to be telling you guys a few tips on how to not get flashback when wearing foundation i asked you guys on snapchat to send me a few ideas of like how to's that you guys wanted to see on my channel and this was the one that stuck out to me the most because i know when i was first picking out my foundations this was a major issue for me because i kept picking foundations that caused flashback if you would like to learn the few tips just keep on watching Tip number one, any powders that have the silica or mica ingredient in it, that will cause flashback. I have a powder right here. This is the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio. This is the only powder that I have with that ingredient in it. And right here on the container, you can see that the second ingredient is silica. Now, don't get me wrong. The ingredient silica and mica are ingredients that are used to better absorb oil throughout the day. I don't know if they work any more or less than powders without those ingredients but I know those ingredients aid in the help of absorbing oil and while they cause flashback you can get away with it if you only use a little amount of the powder but even people that are professional makeup artists can sometimes have an issue with powders that have those two ingredients with still like messing up every now and then so I would recommend just staying clear from powders like that because with a powder without those ingredients you won't have to worry about any of that you just set it like you normally do and it's a bit more user friendly now the two powders that I recommend that do not have those ingredients is the Laura Mercier translucent powder which is $40 or the Ben Nye luxury powder I'm not quite sure how much this was but I'll leave a link to these two powders in the description box that I use daily and I don't have a problem with flashback but if either one of those are too expensive the airspun loose face powder you can find this at Walmart and some Walgreens this doesn't cause flashback either so those three powders are perfect all right now for the second tip. One of the conceptions about makeup is that the main thing that causes flashback is if the foundation has SPF in it. I personally don't think that's quite true because my favorite foundation is the L'Oreal True Match and I do not get flashback with it and it has SPF of 17. I think a key to using a foundation with the SPF is making sure that the SPF isn't like some high amount like SPF 25, SPF 30 and that was tip number three tip number four if you know specifically when your event is coming up that you want to wear your foundation or if you're just getting the foundation for everyday wear make sure that you take some time to test that foundation to see if it's causing flashback so just apply the foundation like you normally would and then take a picture kind of from a distance if you can't get like far enough away get someone else to take a picture from like your chest area up words with the flash on to see how much your foundation flashes and if that foundation flashes too much take it back to the store now this is just a side note a lot of my friends and family don't know that you can return makeup to the store you can return makeup if it's causing you flashback there is absolutely no reason for you to keep that foundation all right and this is the final tip and tip number five sometimes you can think that your foundation is flashing back when it's just the wrong foundation shade foundations that are too light for your skin tone will give you the same similar effect of a flashback. Make sure that when you're selecting your foundation shade that you're selecting the one that's perfect for you. When I first started to pick out foundations that I wanted to wear, I was picking foundations based on what YouTubers were liking. And a lot of times that particular company, that particular foundation range, line whatever did not have my foundation shade but I picked it anyway because youtubers told me that it was nice and I wanted to try it for myself so I was forcing my foundation shade to be there and I was running into that flashback kind of look it wasn't necessarily flashback it was just that my foundation was too light so this tip basically to sum it up is do not force your foundation shade to be there you will find the perfect foundation shade for you just it might not be that company or it might not be that company line check their other lines of foundations or other companies all together again i'm guilty of it so it's okay if you've done it before just don't do it again <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but seriously. So these were my five tips on how to prevent flashback when wearing foundation. I hope they were helpful. If they were, leave me a comment to tell me what your favorite foundation is that does not cause flashback so other people can see that. I will also leave down in the description box a link to an InStyle article where they give you a few foundations that do not cause flashback. And cool enough, the foundation that I talked about in this video, the L'Oreal True Match, actually made their list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to keep yourself updated on my new videos and I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.